So here we are at Healy's Cider Farm. And it's not raining. We have got a tractor ride as well. So let's go in. So we walk in, the check-in desk's over here. And it looks like the shop where we shall be purchasing some stuff at the end is over there. Oh, there's a, looks like another shop up there as well. Shop and sampling. The tractor ride looks like it's just outside that door. So this here is the map and we've been advised to follow the numbers round. We've got our tractor ride in half an hour. So the lady said do one, two and three, which normally takes about 15, 20 minutes. So we've got to go inside the barrel. Lead the way, Archie. Is it full of cider? Oh no, it's empty. There is a lift as well, I did see over the on the other side. Ooh. And here we go, onto the bridge. Wow. Looks like there's some wine and some cider being bottled here, Archie. Rattler. Like there's all the barrels ready to go out. All the boxes down here. Kegging line. Oh, there's all the boxes for packaging. And then into here. Whoa! This is the production hall, this one. It's not going at the minute, is it? Doesn't look like. Ten green bottles hanging on the wall. <laughs> I'm sad, never actually seen that in a pub before. Cornish cloudy cider. Back round to the production hall. Oh, scrumpy. Oh, look at you, Healy scrumpy. Yummy. It does seem to be dog friendly here. I've seen lots of dogs. And when you're going for your tractor ride, you're right inside on these benches here. And they load you up just outside here. Looks like there's one there. And it looks like we'll be going on that one over there. Just while we're, just while we're sat here waiting, 
reading the back of the leaflet and it looks like you can do a Healy's VIP experience for £50 per person where you can do lots of taste testing and a guided tour and the tractor ride is included in this. And then there's also a gin tasting experience for £20 per person. And then it advertises the vintage tractor ride as well. Some of these trees here in Dishelmeter are over 100 years old and are still bearing fruit today. Although we no longer harvest from them, but keep them as part of our heritage. What is interesting to note is the way that they are planted, basically just randomly, approximately 40 trees to an acre. You can learn all about the life cycle of an apple in our visitor center exhibition. Our production halls are capable of making 52 million bottles a year. That's quite a few pints of cider or glasses of wine by my record. So you can eat in here, and there's a bar as well. We come out of the cafe, we've got the jam kitchen here and juice samples. So there's a courtyard, you can see some people with some cream teas. And then we've got the museum over here. So as you walk around the museum, these little TVs show you the story of how it's made, or was made. We've done some gin tasting. Now we can see all the barrels and we're just gonna go over here and try the brandy. Brandy we just tasted was around 8%. And then we're just waiting for this one here. And this one's rum. So we've just done all the tasting and I had to keep telling them to keep the measures low because I've got to drive home so I was having like a tiny tiny taste of everything you could easily have a shot of each of the tasting and get a little bit merry before you go home quite easily so we're going in now to go and see the farm animals oh look Archie it's like he's here to greet us, but... Oh, look at this beautiful. My name is Duchess. <gasps> wow. 
You are gorgeous. I know why you're called Duchess. Wow. And there's hand washing facilities here. So you can pet the animals. <laughs> so it looks like these goats jumped the fence. Oh, look, this one. Hello. He jumped over the fence. He has. Oh, look how cute they are. Look. Can we stroke them? Yes. You can. Oh, look. My baby goat. He's gorgeous. Look at you. Don't chase him. He lets you. Aww. <laughs> I think this one's eyeing up my phone. I think it wants it for its tea. Either that or... He likes being on camera. Hello. Oh, so this is why they jump the fence. There's some nice juicy leaves over here. Oh, my little mates are. Actually says it smells like farm. What do you think, pig? Do you think? It smells like pig. Stop it. <laughs> and there's peacocks on top of the shed. Look, Archie, can you see the peacocks? Oh, and look at this gorgeous donkey. Oh, there's two donkeys. Archie, look. Oh, they look so nice, don't they? Oh. <laughs> oh nice nice what was he doing Archie <laughs> no it doesn't he's just smelling it nice <laughs> nothing in this one is it outside? oh this is where the horse goes look at night time to keep warm Wow, that horse is still, <laughs> he's still giggling. The other one's had one now, I see. Oh, okay. They got a trampoline. Yeah, well, I want to see him jump, Archie. How good is that? The kids have got a trampoline. <laughs> We've come out of the farm. And we've got the old piggery, which is where you can get some ice cream. So just before we head out, we're going to head into Pineapple Beach and see what this is all about. I think it's you can get a drink and some food. Pasty in a bag, homemade scones with jam and Cornish clotted cream. The ice cream that we've just had and Archie is still eating, I've got to say, hands down, it's the best vanilla ice cream I have ever tasted in my entire life. It was so nice. So we've got sand here, nice place to sit just here. I'm going to have to just do pictures from now on because it sounds like we've got some music on. So. I'll finish off with a few pictures and that's our vlog from today. See you in the next one.